so about two to like four days ago, I saw a video on my recommended, which is now deleted off the platform. That I'm going to show you a clip of it on Twitter that somebody has because a YouTuber whose name is Sloan, aka Michael Sloan Hooks, he has made a video which is now deleted. That I'm gonna show you just about now after reading this. The way Bob Saget's first episode was nearly just his close friend and cast making jokes about how he molested Kate, Mary Kate and her entire childhood and literally no one cared. They watched it and laughed like it's funny. You know, if every single one of them joked about his pedophilia, that is a sign that is not a joke. He has done these things. Not to mention that he practiced molesting the baby doll, nearly how he was allowed to do just that. Sloan on YouTube has a he has a video on Bob Saget, which is now deleted. This clip is in the context of a life like doll of a three year old. It was a lot he took out of context and he probably deleted the video. While a lot of it was truly inappropriate, more than one of those happenings was purposely taken out of context. So now, so I will now be watching Sloan with caution. I was disappointed with that video. I don't fully blame him because I'm sure he gets a lot of people requesting topics and sending in links to certain clips. His view could easily be skewed with the way Bob's comedy is. I just hope he dives a bit deeper before posting that. He's obviously just trying to get attention. He doesn't even care if Bob did those things or not. If he truly cared, he wouldn't have to take these things out of context and would have just covered the actually gross stuff. And I agree with all these points. Now, as of almost a week ago, since he put it up, put up that video about Bob Saget, which is now deleted, he still has not made an apology video, and just went on as it's like normal again. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. He just went on as apologizing for about five to six days, like. And this isn't good. I found this called the Indie Trooper, which is which was written by somebody named Anton Sawyer. It says online influencer Sloan privatized video accusing Bob Saget of inappropriate behavior. So I'm gonna read this. I'm trying to understand how the sad baseless claims hurled towards comedy legend Bob Saget by an online influencer Sloan in a now privatized YouTube video titled Bob Saget's Inappropriate Relationship with the Olsen Twins were able to gain traction with the cancel culture movement, though I've heard about CC more than I would have liked over to like to over the last couple of months. The piece today is about how misdirection and conjuring is are trying to plant seed that of that 
movement towards the TV and stand-up comedy star. Thankfully, I saw the video and was able to get direct quotes before it was privatized. Though it seems some of the, though it seems some of the damage was done. If you're not feeling it was alone, it, and what has happened over the last few days on his YouTube channel concerning Saget, it's pretty breathtaking. It is the blueprint as to how might it is right when opinions are presented as fact when it comes to trying to take someone down from both real and perceived demons from their past. Let it be known that I am not in any way about the second fan. I like to show Full House, but that was about it. It was the it was this family friendly hit along with him becoming the host of America's Funny Song videos. His standing as America's purest dad was sentimental. The reality of who he was as a comedian was something foreign to me. This is why when I saw the movie Half Baked and found Saget had a speaking role in it, which included the line I used to suck it for cocaine, my mind exploded. That one segment he had in his late 90s Thorner comedy was a complete shot to my system. And I openly sh showed my feelings of surprise to friend I was watching to have. He had to give me some context. I would find out my friend wasn't wrong when I heard of some of Saget's material. You see, this filth land dietary was pretty far from the course when it came to Saget's humor. At the only time he wasn't doing this humor was during his tenure of Full House and AFHB. When you go back to the beginning of Saget's stand-up career, his routine from the early to mid-90s was rightfully blue material. Once he got the role of Jenny Tanner on Full House, everything changed. In the next decade, he lived that life professionally. Since leaving that friendly, ha friendly house in 1997, he has done movies of obscene language and has done a few successful tours through his stand-up routine. In a nutshell, Bob Saget is slash was, outside of his 1987 to 1997, has been pretty well established. It doesn't appear that way for YouTuber personality slow. In the video that has now been made private, you'll find out why in a moment he used Blank Hunter. Conjecture. Now, as someone who values journalistic journalist integrity, please check the particularly offer D if you have any doubts. I got the direct quotes from his video prior to its privatization. When I watched it, it had been up for 21 hours. By this point, it had over 107k views with over 200 2,500 comments. If anything, I write about here is incorrect or inaccurate, then I beg Sloan to make the video available to the public once more so they can see if I'm misquoting it. In the event that does happen, I have included a link to his video that in that same bibliography. So let's get into the meat of this video. It begins with Sloan watching the Comedy Central roast beef of Bob Saget. If you have never seen a comedy central roast, they can be seen. They can be some of the most vile Latin exhibits you'll ever witness. People I know who find offensive humor enjoyable have even said certain segments make them ill, like the time when Amy Schumer made a joke to Steve about his recently de deceased friend. Ryan Dunn. It is no holds spared typically. It appears Sloan was completely unaware of this. One part of that is worth mentioning where Jeff Ross is set, set up a rather tasteless blackjack joke with the punchline being that sack hit on the Ocean 
starting at age 8 and stopping at 21. Slowly started with, he claims that Bob hit on these girls from 8 to 18, which is a bad joke, but honestly, probably younger than 8, which is the worst part of it all. Not only did Sloan misquote the age in the joke, he o- but he, he also presented the information in a way that implies that there's absolutely no way Sagan is innocent. That is a fact. This isn't the worst of it. During the roast, comedian Brian Posen made a joke about how Full House kept pedophiles off the streets because three of them were on the show, referring not only to Sagan, but also his co-stars Dave Coulier and John Stamos, using the same crack detective work as Sloan. One would know that not all three of them sexually assaulted the young girls on the show, yet Sloan only mentions Coulier once. He intercut the interview an interview on Ellen, the Olsen twins had done, where they talked about the sh- shower scene with Collier, during which both twins were laughing. He made inferences of inappropriate behavior there as well about anything more to conjure. He never mentioned statements again. I'm guessing he didn't get enough of it. Examples of hearsay admit the minimum amount to guarantee judgment of someone else. I understand when it comes to the internet, you can be sucked in your own world and be cool. I have experienced it often myself when I speak to friends. Speak to friends of mine about musical artists that everyone seems to know but me. They're right. I'll check some. I'll check and see that some hip-hop or kick-hop artists have over a billion views, all while being someone I've never heard of. This is also how bigoted ideas, conspiracy theories, and other madness can flourish so well online. The thing Sloan is missing is that just because you recently found out about something doesn't mean it was common knowledge to those who stick their heads out of their shelves. Thankfully, Twitter shut him down, which will help in stopping the spread of this. I'm not sure who contacted Sloan and slash or his people, but it seems to have addressed swiftly, even as quickly as it started to turn on social media, was quickly as it vanished. Sloan's Twitter was recently set to private and the video was privatized as well not long after I witnessed it. There are, these are all good steps, but it never should have gone to this level in the first place. It's truly terrifying. Not only there were about 80% of those in the comment section on his side, they also immediately wanted blood. The fact that this video hit nearly a quarter mil- of a million views in about a day and a half, alone Sloan's fan base cheering on it, is the complete encapsulation of why people not only hate but are also terrified of cancel culture. The saddest part about this is when you have seen Sloan's other videos. They are always fat to base. He had always had receipts. Sure he does throw them in conjure at points but he makes sure that if he says an excursion is a fact he has a video direct quote or the like to substantiate it. His Bob Second video had none of that. The fact that a comedian made the tasteless joke that he hit on the Ocean Twits from 8 to 21. And Sloan comes in immediately with honestly probably younger than 8 is absolutely horrific. There has never been an accusation made again. Bob second. There has been rumors of him assaulting anyone. Well, that's not true. Bob Saget 
had has had to defend himself before the Vesemio accusation in 2020, shortly after the premiere of Corey Feldman film, I Truth, The Rape of Two Corys, a rumor spread that it was Taggett, again, based entirely on his racy history. Quickly, Twitter used to begin to tweet that Taggett was not named in the documentary and that the statement was false. It eventually died as it should have, but it still set a tone. There were people who believed this and were willing to end Sackett's career. I hope this is a learning experience, whether it's through outlying influences, politicians, or anyone who has any kind of personality behind them, they are hateable. People need to realize that any accusation you throw out there needs to be rock solid. If you only know in your heart this happened, it most likely didn't. We need to regain our intellectual status as a leader in this world. We can't know something is right in our heart and wrong with it. Especially if you have a large platform. I hope to see an apology video from Sloan soon. He needs to acknowledge that he was in the wrong. If he doesn't, then neither will neither he nor his horde can truly learn from this mistake. I genuinely, I genuinely think that Sloan was in the wrong for doing that. The fact that he would say some things about Bad Bob Saget about even providing clear amounts of evidence seems so, so, so inappropriately stupid of him to do. Like, come on. If you are going to accuse somebody, you need to have crucial evidence to back up your claims. The fact that you just rushed this now is completely disgusting, dodgy, and above all, irresponsible. You did this as a cash grab. How could you? Like, come on. You caused this. I mean, look at all, all these tweets. You caused this mess. People have now believed a word that you say, which, which could be more raw, because John Stamos did not, John Stamos or Bad Bob Saget did not do any of these things, and now plenty of people, most likely girls. Are prone to believe that Bob Saget did these things, which is completely untrue to a certain extent. We all know that Bob Saget has a good, has a clean record, and you chose to make a stupid video, which got everyone talking. If Bob Saget's name was trending on Twitter five days earlier, I would have seen it, and everybody would have known about it by now. But thankfully, you did take down the video because you knew that you did a dodgy thing, and you cannot get away with it just by fucking uploading these videos about an explanation. So if you're gonna whip out content as normal like nothing happened, nice try. But I'm not allowing this. You need to get off your ass and start apologizing. Do it now, you guilty motherfucker. Do it now. No wonder you private your Twitter account. You can't be trusted to do anything. Like, for real. It's time that you start apologizing. So stop whipping up these types of videos that you just whipped out a few days ago. And even tonight. And just make an apology video now. Because you caused this mess. And by the time you don't apologize soon enough, Bob Saget's name will be trending and it will be all your fault. Come on. I'm waiting on you to apologize.